Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is whirlwind of economic news. Uh, as we approach the end of uh, 2017, and in less than 90 days we're there, a lot of economic news is coming out that could impact our clients' portfolios. And uh, I think the dialogue uh, this morning with the research you guys backed it up with uh, goes to, to, to show there's a lot of opportunities mm -hmm as well as things that could shift the wind as yes, well, correct? Definitely. So Bobby, you started off about uh, consumers. Talk about that. Yeah, so we've got some clients asked recently, what can keep this market going? One, corporate earnings. We won't remain that, that is strong. We wanna, we've right. talked about that for numerous re weeks now. And so the next thing is consumer confidence. Last week, consumer confidence hit a 13 year high. Right. right. That's consumers excited about their own economic, you know, their well-being, and then also the overall economy. And so the 13-year high, that's important because consumer spending is 70% of our economy. Mm -hmm. And so you have confident consumers going into holiday season. We right, need that right. to keep going. And it was the best it's been in two years in September. And, you know, we talked about a lot of it, too, the hurricanes and everything else. But even if you smooth that out, restaurants, retail stores, online platforms, mm -hmm. if you even narrow it down to just that core, it was the best to spend in two years to add to that. Yeah, and then, and actually you talked about this because we, we had a lot of clients emailing us and, mm -hmm. and talking to us about the impact of Mother Nature oh my in, term, gosh, in, yeah. in, in terms yeah. of the, the hurricanes, the fires, everything that was going on. So sure. talk just a little bit about that. Well, it's about to hit with about a $40 billion stimulus, if you will, because last week the House passed a, a large series having mm -hmm. to do with uh, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, to Greg Point, to the hurricane, the fires in California. Right. It's a combination of FEMA, low-cost loans, particularly for Puerto Rico and okay. Virgin Islands. Sure. But if you look at it at the end of this year and going into the first quarter of next year, that is a huge amount of stimulus coming into the economy on top of the consumer. Right. So that's a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be spent in a real short amount of time. It's Absolutely. Not, it's not the long, drawn-out, typical stimulus. But a big hit. It goes to the Senate this week, and you've got to imagine politically that's going to pass pretty easily get signed pretty well, easily and be in there fast. Yeah, so that, that's taking place. But then also a huge topic is, will Congress pass tax reform? Will that take place? We were having a lot of clients ask us about that because the, the impact of that on portfolios and markets could be huge. Yeah. Trey, you went into a lot of detail this morning about that. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so this is a huge week for the for the process of getting tax reform through, what the first thing they've got to do is pass a budget resolution, which takes 50 votes in the Senate, and that's happening this week. I'm not saying they're definitely going to pass it this week. Right. They're going to vote mm -hmm. on it this week. And so you've got to pass the budget of, a, it's going to end up being a $1.5 trillion tax cut budget that then goes back to Congress and they debate on how to fill that in with tax cuts. And so this week is huge because you've got to get that 50 votes. And in healthcare, we couldn't get there. Over the weekend, it was very interesting. Senator Susan Collins, who, is, who was a no on healthcare and has been assumed to be a no on tax reform, came out and said she's a yes, or very likely to okay. be a yes. So that's extremely important. You've got Senator Corker, who seems to be a no, has said he's probably going to be a yes. So it's going to be very, you know, the winds of change hopefully are blowing in, in favor of, right. of getting, this, getting to those 50 votes. Absolutely. And so now you know why we chose the topic whirlwind of economic news, yeah. because it is spinning and, and coming at us full steam. Mm -hmm. And on that note, we really appreciate all the interaction with clients through emails and phone calls and in person, just inquiring about these topics and how it can impact their portfolio. You can also continue to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, we love to have the interaction, the dialogue and discussion. I appreciate all the detailed research you guys are doing. We hope you have a great week and we're going to keep you updated because this year is full steam ahead. We're not finished yet. Take care. <music>